This podcast is part of the Big Heads Media Podcast Network. Go to BigHeadsMedia.com for more great podcasts. Five minutes till the main event. Is this the way my life was spent? Now the winter of my discontent is about to turn a new year. The minister, he's pleading me to save myself. He's reading me apocalyptic verses from a book. I squint my eyes to look at him and said, Save your stories. Save your please. There's no Before we get started with the dying part of this show, let's give a quick shout out to this week's sponsor, which is Manscaped, who have the best in men's below the belt grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Jingle balls to the walls, fellas. Listen up. Untripped pubes are a thing of the past. It's time to gear up and get yourself the gift of shaving this holiday season, and I'm talking about the Manscaped Perfect Package 2.0. Listen, we've all been there. It's the day before a big date, and you want to feel nice and clean down there. So you grab a pair of scissors and just go to town. But that doesn't work out, because somehow you always seem to just cut yourself. You didn't even have the scissors near your balls, but yet there's a sudden rip in your sack. That's gonna end. That's why this revolutionary company, Manscaped, has redesigned the electric trimmer. Their lawnmower 2.0 has proprietary, advanced skin safe technology, so this trimmer won't nick <laughs> or snag your nuts. It's also waterproof, so you can use it in the shower. The lawnmower 2.0 comes inside their perfect package 2.0, which makes for the perfect gift this holiday season. It's literally everything you need to keep trimmed, cut free, and smell nice down there. And don't use the same trimmer on your face as you're using for your balls. You're nasty if you do, and we've all done it. The Manscaped Perfect Package 2.0 also includes the crop preserver, an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. You already put deodorant on your armpits, why are you not putting deodorant on your smelliest part? And yes, your balls stink. And speaking of sweaty and stinky balls, I am thankful for their crop reviver. This product, along with the crop preserver, keep your balls from sweating, smelling, and sticking. And these products smell good. Their manly scent is attractive and will help set the mood, if you know what I mean. The perfect package will also come with a pair of Manscaped boxer briefs that'll keep your junk feeling fresh all day. It's time to upgrade those overused pair of boxers, the ones with the holes in them, you know you have them, to Manscaped's high-performance anti-chafing boxer briefs. I've been wearing mine, and honestly, they change your life. Tis the season to Manscaped, so get yourself, your dad, your brother, and friends the best gift of all time. Everyone knows they need it. The Manscaped Perfect Package 2.0. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code BIGHEADS at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code BIGHEADS at manscaped.com. Clean up your nuts and make Santa proud this year. Hi, and welcome to How Will I Die, starring Nicholas Howe. It's me, Nicholas Howe. You might notice that uh, there are some fun sounds in the background, like cars. That's because there are cars. I'm recording this episode on the go, so this is what you guys get to listen to. Hopefully I can edit it post-process and we'll figure it out. So, without further ado, let's just jump into this week's episode. This week, our Nick is Walking Nick. And Walking Nick is extremely similar to myself in this very moment. So I'm going to use the diverging timeline of myself right now. So, Walking Nick is 25. Oh, by the way, I'm 25 now. I had a birthday like two weeks ago. A month ago now. It's December. Hey, happy end of 2019. We're all excited. So, it's the end of the day. Working day. Walking Nick has six miles to go before he gets home. So, he does what any normal person would do, and he starts to record a podcast of himself. Uh, also, he's 25, 
Sorry, I forgot to do the statistics. I normally do this at a computer. He is 25 years old. He is an office assistant, and his current action is walking home from school, or work. His current action is walking home from work. So after a long day of boxing up packages for work, Walking Nick decides to head home. The only way he knows how, walking. The problem with walking today is that it is also raining outside. So Walking Nick, obviously, is not having a great day because he doesn't own a rain jacket. The umbrella that he normally carries broke. And it's just overall not a great day for him. But it's a pretty average day in the life of a Nicholas. So as he's walking, he's just kind of living it up. He's talking to himself. In fact, this version of Nicholas is recording a podcast. Disclaimer, before I continue. Hi, this is Real World Nicholas. If I get hit by a car, I'm going to be so pissed. I make this podcast for comedy and goofs. If I get hit by a car... Uh, anyways, back to the show. So Nicholas is walking and he's recording a podcast and he's just enjoying himself. Then the rain starts to fall extremely heavily. Extremely heavily. He doesn't quite make it to the bridge underpass that he's trying to get to as the water just pours down all over him. So now he's drenched, he's under an overpass, and he still has six miles to go. What else could go wrong with my day, he thinks? Also, it's a fun fact about his commute home, Nicholas lives in LA. There's a shit ton of tent cities because the government doesn't care about the homeless people, which is super fun. In addition to recording the podcast, he is also hitting up the ladies on Facebook dating. That's right, this video, which is not a video, is sponsored by Facebook dating, but it's really not. Did you guys know that that was a thing? Because it is. It's wild. It's an interesting thing. Very studyable for sociology. So any sociology majors might want to check into it. Get those stats. Been active for like four months, I think. I don't know. Anyways, back to the story part. So he's walking and he is distracted by his phone, not paying attention, and it's raining. Since he's a distracted millennial, he doesn't realize how many times he drifts into the street. See, the sidewalk that he's walking on is directly connected to the bike path because urban planning is not someone's specialty, yet they gave that person the job anyways. So there's a little bit of sidewalk, a little bit of precursor road, and then full on road. So you have this walking Nick who's walking in and out of traffic and not paying attention very well. Normally that wouldn't be such a problem, but it's Nicholas, so of course it is. While sending a very, very good text to someone that he was flirting with because she said, that's badass. And he responded, I'm badass. And then in parentheses, while you read that, make sure you imagine me doing sick karate moves because I'm just so fly. I don't know why this is dating. Hi, welcome to dating advice with Nick. I'm bad at it, but I have really good one-liners. This is why having a computer in front of you is so much easier, works so much better when you're trying to come up with a narrative. Here's a little behind the scenes stuff. When I'm doing these stories, I don't have any notes except the name and how the person dies and that's it. But I'm stuck in one place and not walking six miles, but it's fine. So he's distracted walking, and at one point he walks directly into the street and doesn't course correct because he happens to be laughing at a funny joke that the person did back. I don't know what it is because it hasn't happened yet, but joke is funny enough for him to not pay attention to where he's at on the road. Now, if you remember correctly from five minutes ago when I started this, it's raining very heavily. And so because of the rain, the conditions, low visibility, a driver slams directly into Nicholas, sending him flying. As he is in the air, he does manage to send one last emoji, which ironically is the emoji with the X's over its eyes and the tongue sticking out, preceded by the words, I'm dead. And that's how walking Nick died. Obviously, the inspiration for this story is that I'm walking home and I think about getting hit by cars a lot because I've been hit by a few cars that haven't killed me, but I'm waiting for the one that does so that I can fight it to death. I kind of wanted to test the sound quality of walking. I'm using just regular headphones right now, but I have a headphone microphone set in my bag. Not super comfortable pulling it out because it's pink and glittery and I bought it for TikToks, uh, which if you don't follow me on TikTok, go check that out. It's at Plasmatic210, just like everything else is in my life, except my Snapchat, because they don't let you change your name. Anyways, it's going to do it for this section. We're going to take a quick jump over into the middle section, 
and come back for the last part for the spam slam and the history of car accident victims i guess i'm gonna do those ones at home so enjoy that Welcome everybody to the Potterskew Podcast. I am... Whoa, 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 dude. This is our promo, not the show. I'm Rico. Oops, my bad. I'm CJ. We're the host of the Potterskew Podcast. We are fans of pretty much anything and everything pop culture, including movies, TV shows, books, video games, comics, music, and of course, Kevin Smith. Now, while we do keep our fingers on the pulse of Sal and Bob, he certainly doesn't need our help in promoting him. You got that right. We do our own thing with inspiration from the man and his mantra of why not. We've got stories from celebrities we've interviewed, theories of our own for certain movies, and we usually have a great debate on almost anything. We also do commentaries on movies. Sometimes we ask our fans what they want to watch with us. So, if you love the timbre of our vocal cords and you want to watch a movie at the same time, give us a listen. Stay tuned every Monday. There's always something new. And if you've been good this year, we may even give you some bonus episodes from time to time. So be good, subscribe, and enjoy Pod Askew, proud members of the Big Heads Media Podcast Network. Hello and welcome to the middle section where I talk about things and stuff and things and stuff. It's me, Nicholas, talking about some things and stuff real quick. First things and stuff I need to talk about is sorry for taking such a long break. I didn't mean to, but I got super sick over the Thanksgiving break, I guess. I don't know what it's called, but uh, yeah, so I was super sick. And then when I came back from that break, work was hectic. Obviously, as you heard, I was there for multiple days, multiple, multiple hour days and I've just been so tired. That's why I decided to record while I was walking, because by the time that I would have gotten home, I wouldn't have had the energy to record. So that's out of the way. But this is a new episode, and it's for you guys, so I did my due diligence on it. (laughs) I don't think I have any other news this week, other than I'm going to continue to try to do more episodes, especially through the end of the year. My goal is to get one per week, but if I have to do only two a week, that's just how it has to be, I guess. That's it for the things and stuff and things and stuff i will go ahead and jump back into the regular thing after i talk real quick about just my social media and all that so if you guys aren't following me which is shocking if you aren't you can follow the podcast at h-w-i-d-i-e-p-o-d that's how will i die pod but shortened or just google how will i die pod you should find it pretty quickly i think and then if you want to follow my personal twitter it's plasmatic 210 that's the same thing for my tiktok my Instagram, pretty much everything. You can just Google Plasmatic210 and you'll find a bunch of me. That's it for this. I will see you guys whenever I see you. I hope I don't see you like in person because that's weird. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's a nerd. And nerd it. From a Voice of Misery podcast. If you want a show that's about pretty much anything, it's a variety show about life, love, mental health, the pursuit of happiness, and a ton of different interviews going from Karen Parsons to Ava Devine and other various adult film stars or just random people on the street that I think are interesting, you should give us a shot. Voices of Misery podcast. Voices of Misery Podbean.com at Voices of Misery on Twitter and Voices of Misery anywhere and anywhere you can find your favorite podcast. Give us a shot if you're not easily offended. Okay, so normally I wouldn't do this much, I guess background in history because typically when I do a story like this or not like this when I do a story it's based on a a very specific event but much like the vending machine one this is a constant thing that happens in the world worldwide 1.25 million people die every year from car accidents now that obviously includes being hit by cars and car on car collision uh pile ups all that fun stuff which is not fun is in fact very tragic but that's just a part of the world that we've kind of created around vehicles also about 20 to 50 million people are injured or disabled by vehicle accidents which is horrifying but that's worldwide if we're looking at just united states Over 37,000 people die in car accidents each year, and 2.35 million are injured or disabled. This is one of the types of stories that I don't typically want to do, just because it's not inherently entertaining. It's something that happens all the time. It's something that we live with. So I guess just know that like this is a real thing. While the story might be kind of funny in some ways, the actual 
event isn't funny. I'm sure a lot of people know people who have died in a car accident, but if I don't treat every death similarly, then this show can't go on for long because there's only so many unique deaths in the world. So that's going to do it for the deaths. Let's take a moment and jump on over into the Spam Slam. This week's email comes to us from a good friend of the show, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is obviously like one of those primo spams, but the title of this or the subject line of this email was the biblical error they don't want you to know. There are a few question marks in there that don't make sense, but that's fine. So this is how it goes. The Old Testament quote error unquote that caused life expectancies to drop by 30, 375%. And how you can fix it too? Add pain-free years to your life. This shocking new discovery from the Bible has biblical scholars, pastors, and theologians scratching their heads. It reveals the long-lost ingredient inside holy anointed oil that's been missing for over 2,300 years. And until this underground report was released, it's been kept from the general public and for good reason. Because this little ingredient that might be in your kitchen right now could change what it means to be a God-fearing Christian. And it could completely disrupt Big Pharma because it also transforms holy anointed oil from being a mere symbol of Christ's healing power into a mighty fighter against chronic pain, arthritis, and diabetes. Which might be why in 2014, the U.S. government took out a patent on this natural ingredient, and why the medical establishment is trying to censor it from people just like you. Click here to see all about holy anointed oil's missing ingredient before it gets taken down forever. And that's it. That's the end of the email, which is sad because I did want to know what the missing ingredient was, but I didn't feel like clicking there. I guess I have to stay being a God-fearing Christian now because I didn't know, I didn't learn what this little ingredient that might be in my kitchen right now is. Probably salt. That sounds right. That would explain why you can use salt against ghosts and demons. Anyways, if you want to know, you can find out by checking out my Twitter, where I'll release the Holy Anointed Oil's secret missing ingredient at some point. So go ahead and go check that out, and I'll see you in the next episode of How Will I Die? And remember, death is coming, so why worry about the inevitable? Focus on the possibilities. Five minutes till they pull the switch They say you'll only feel an itch But they watch the catatonic twitch And the smoke that flows around you They're beneath the gamma rays Watch my soul just burn away Or oh, don't you even try to pray My fate is predetermined You won't see me returning and Save your stories Save your pleas There's no You will see there's nothing left Salvation, don't come free Enjoy the dulcet sounds of the world as I walk through it. Well, I'm going to start a new podcast, and it's just going to be this. I'm just going to record all the sounds from when I walk, and it's just going to be called Nick on the Street or something else.